Hey. Get the toilet hot. Mm. 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 Marty, mm. I made supper. Just kidding. Let me guess, we need more iron in our diet? Ah, uh, isn't it a beaut? More trash. Uh, one man's trash. It's still trash by any other name. You're thinking of a rose, my darling. <laughs> like you, a <laughs> wild Irish rose. <laughs> You guys are embarrassing me. Oh, in that case, get in. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, I'm not. Go on, quit fooling uh, around and wash your hands. <laughs> what do we agree about smoking in the house? Right. To the man cave. That was funny. I was like five, Dad. And you're six now? <laughs> get the box, let's go. Hey, guys. Mailman, Dr. Uh -huh. Bill at my house again. Oh, new project, Marty? This could be the one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't encourage him, Liz. Oh, you know, it took Edison over 2,000 attempts to invent the light bulb. He only succeeded because he never gave up. Thank you, Liz. See what a little bit of faith looks like, dear? Um, actually, Edison didn't invent the light bulb, he only refined it. Ah, potato, potato. My point is persistence pays off. You're not helping. Sorry. I'm just an eternal optimist. I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Dad. Oh, hi, David. I straightened up a bit for you. I didn't want you to have another panic attack. Here, I got you the medicine. Just set it down anywhere. What the hell's with the sign on the door? It's my jackass neighbor, Joe. He filed a complaint with the city. Can't imagine why. Look. Maybe we should start, you know, cleaning. Listen, no one touches my stuff, okay? You got that? Dad, you'll be evicted. I'm an inventor. Who knows what I could make with all of this stuff? How about a tinfoil hat? I don't need your smart ass answer. Well, then don't ask dumb ass questions. You're probably in a hurry to get back to work. Dad, what are you looking for? What are you looking for? This. Dad, Dad where are you going? Dad, you can't keep spending your social security checks on this crap. Dad. You have your dreams, David. And I have mine. This is a nightmare, okay? God forbid you should have a heart attack or something, no one will be able to get to you through all this shit. You don't understand. I miss mom too. You need to get the hell out of this house now. Just let me help you. I said get the hell out of my house. David, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, oh. David, I'm get sorry. Get the hell out of me, get away from me, get away from me. Oh, David. Hey there.
main power. Looking good. Okay, kill the lights. What the hell happened? I don't know. We should have reached critical field intensity. <sighs> okay. Did you triple check the optics? Of course. Well, what about the transformers? Did any of the transformers fail? They were green across the board. Damn it, what the hell are we missing? I don't know. I'm not gonna figure it out on two hours of sleep. Okay, well, we'll pick this back up in the morning. Late morning. This is a mistake. Uh, it's also bad manners. I'm sorry, Dr. Silvers. He rushed right past me. It's okay, Amy. Please close the door. Look, I'm not on the list of speakers. We have to fix this. It's not a mistake, Ray. What are you talking about? I've lectured at that conference for the past five years. Who took me off? I did. Why? What was last year's topic? Aliens Among Us. Oh, and the year before that? Are your neighbors from Alpha Centauri? Look, I'm telling you they're here, living, working, maybe even teaching in our schools. Statements like that are what make people think UFO research is fringe science. People need to know. They need to be warned. You bring me evidence, and we'll have another discussion. Until then, it's off the dockets. And that's that. Fine. You want proof? I'll get you proof. Why are we here? Reminds me of where I grew up. This is where you go after you win a fight, isn't it? Here, look at that flower. It found its way to the sun, even from under that rock. It's the same with love. What do you mean? Even when it's tough, love finds a way through. Ugh, nuclear puke. <laughs> Sure, this park's a hot spot? How many sightings in the past year? Six? You're kidding. Okay, great. Thanks, Eddie. Did you see it? Which way did it go? See what? The UFO. It was a big triangle thing with a bunch of bright lights and a big orange one underneath. Look, I've got a picture of it. It's... Damn, it's not there. Look, I swear, there was a UFO. I believe that you believe it. Ah. Uh.
called Dr. Bennett. Hmm. Oh, good, you're back. I was thinking, what if we use bilayer graphene for the superconducting transistors in place of... David? What? You okay? Yeah. No. Uh. What happened? You look like you've seen a ghost. <sighs> look, I know we're on a deadline, but I really need to get my head straight. Uh, David, what happened? I just, I just need to go, Bill. I just need to go. Okay. What a surprise for the third time today. You know the show is tomorrow night, right? Be careful with that! A little to the left. More. More. There. That's good. Let go. Hands in the air. So, when can I expect delivery? Uh, the last piece is almost done. I'll have it wrapped for pickup in an hour. Okay, perfect. Not so fast, there's one more pickup at Jordan's. This show is gonna put you on everyone's hot list, you know? See you soon. Bye. There's still the issue of getting the superconducting magnetic nozzles to work at higher temperatures. Oh, we'll need to coordinate with Jack's team on that. Something wrong? Well, it's nothing. Spit it out before you choke. We should be looking for a quicker, cheaper way to reach the stars. It could take us decades and cost millions before we even have a prototype, let alone a full-scale antimatter drive. No, slow and steady, Bill, okay? That's how it's done. If we stray too far, miss a beat, NASA will just fund somebody else's proposal. Yeah, yeah, I know, you're, you're right. It's just deadline pressure. Proposals due in less than a month. Okay, look, once we hand in the proposal, I think we should take a break. How did you find her? 
we literally ran into each other. I was rushing down the sidewalk, she stepped out of the art store and bang! She had just had this piece set. When I saw it, it was love at first sight. I'm sorry to interrupt, but may I just say that you've become my favorite artist? Thank you! <laughs> Excuse me? What can you tell me about that one? Really? We're having a conversation here. Let me tell you, this piece is absolutely amazing. How long did it take you this to... This is your best work by far, Oh, why, thank you, kind sir. Why a triangle? It's the most basic geometric. The building block of physical reality. And the circles, are those supposed to be lights? And what is the name of the piece again? Self-portrait. It's gorgeous. It's so beautiful. Where, where did you get your ideas from? I don't know. I just see things differently. We need to talk in private. Wait your turn. Look, hey, this is really important, okay? I'm about to make an offer here. I'll buy it. Wait, what? Not that one. The triangle piece. I'll buy it right now. <laughs> you know it's five grand, right? Five thousand? Fine, it's no problem. Uh, would you excuse me for just one moment? She'll be right back. I, I really don't know anymore where to start. Um... Write that check and she's all yours. That came out wrong. <laughs> Mrs. Beth Cooper, the gallery owner. Beth, this is... David. David Bennett. So, tell me, David. What is this about this piece that you fell in love with? Well, it's, it's more curiosity, really. You're willing to spend five grand just to satisfy your curiosity? I like this guy. Listen, I really, really need to know more about why you made this. So can we go somewhere after the showing, maybe get some coffee or? Sure. Um, Jordan? I'm, I'm serious about this, okay? No funny business, honest. It's really important to me. Give us a moment. Sure. Can I get a seat? You don't have to socialize with this guy just because he whipped out his wallet. You always say schmooze or lose. Maybe he'll buy more pieces. Oh, just when I thought I'd seen everything. My best customer on an actual date. And a stunning one at that. Thank you. Kiki, Jordan, Jordan, Kiki. Pleasure. Mm. May I tempt you both with some fresh apple pie? <gasps> no, just the wheat from. Thanks. You got it, Einstein. So, how'd you find me? One of your flyers is on the University Quad where I work. Interesting synchronicity. Mm, it's a coincidence. So, an astrophysicist, hmm? Feet on the ground, head in the stars. Well, I've been fascinated by outer space since I was a little kid. Oh, yeah? What's your fascination with my sculpture? What inspired it? It's hard to explain. You saw something, didn't you? Something you can't explain. Sounds like that's your story. Dark metallic triangle aircraft, boom, white lights on the tips, dull orange one in the center. Just like your sculpture. Well, you're saying you saw a UFO? You're saying you did it? Another coincidence? I don't believe in coincidences. What do you mean? Synchronicity. I mean, there are no accidents in life. Not really. You must have seen the UFO for a reason. What are you talking about? I have no idea what it was or why I saw it. That's what the U in UFO stands for, unidentified. Okay, well, if you had to guess. I don't know. Maybe a classified military experiment or an advanced drone? It seemed like it had some type of electromagnetic propulsion system. I'd love to get my hands on that. You think it was from here? What, another country? It would have never made it past our early warning network. Unless it has some new form of stealth tech. Maybe I should report to the Air Force. 
I don't mean another country. I mean another planet. Come on. Why is that so hard to believe? Okay, don't get me wrong. I, I do believe that there's a high probability that intelligent life does exist elsewhere in the universe. Just not visiting Earth in flying saucers. <laughs> or triangles, right? Or any other shape. It's not possible. Why is that? The distances are too great. For Earth technology. Physics is physics. You could be wrong. <laughs> could be, but I'm not. So you're a cynic. I'm a realist. Look, it's a simple equation. Uh. You know that equation? No. Cynicism equals ignorance plus arrogance. Oh. Woo, you were right, Einstein. Sounds more like my last marriage than a date. More coffee? Ooh, yes, please. For you? Thanks. <gasps> oh, I love birthdays. To you. Wait, wait, wait. Start over. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Uh, Ronald. Ronald, happy birthday to you. Make a wish, Ronnie. Ooh. Yay. Yay. What'd you wish for? Oh, you're not supposed to say. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It came true a long time ago. Oh, you're so cute. Cake is on the house. <laughs> Works every time. Uh. Whew, I haven't sung like that in years. Maybe you should get the band back together. How'd you know I used to front for a band? Lucky guess. You know, I just might do that. She's a keeper, if you're as smart as I think you are. <laughs> are you okay? Yeah, sure, no problem. Maybe you need to think more like an artist. See things from a new perspective. You're saying I should think outside the box. I'm saying there are no boxes. You haven't seen my dad's house. Oh, look, it's been an education, but I need to go. Your watch has no hand. Yeah, it's a timeless piece. But how do you... It reminds know? me to live in the moment. Thanks for the coffee and for buying my sculpture. Beth will call you to set up the delivery. This one's on the house. Good luck, Rocket Man. Happy birthday again. Wait, wait, wait. I forgot to ask, the sculpture I bought, what's it called? Quantum Leap. Oh, she's hot for you. What? You know what a rocket stands for. Sometimes a rocket is just a rocket, Kiki. And here I thought you were a genius. A severe panic attack may cause some areas of the brain to shut down and temporarily lose its grip on reality. In extreme cases, this can cause auditory and visual hallucinations until the panic attack subsides. Okay, I've been trying to solve the space propulsion system now for months. I'm exhausted, I'm frustrated, so during a panic attack, I hallucinated a spaceship and the conversations about UFOs gives me nightmares. Simple as that. Synchronicity is just another word for coincidence, right? Not according to Carl Jung. What do you mean? One coincidence, sure. But what if they happen two, three, four times, one after another? 
At what point does it become more than coincidental? So you're suggesting that synchronicity reveals some kind of pattern? Something like that. The question is, does it demonstrate a pattern in our physical reality or just in our psychology? Well, quantum mechanics would suggest that it's just a matter of perspective. That's one way to look at it. So any perspective on when we might get back to our proposal? Well, yeah, of course, right away. There's just something I need to take care of first. Tick tock, buddy. Oh, you know. Hey, what are you doing? The tenant's already been warned. I just found out about the notice. You know hoarding's a disease, right? Listen, I'm getting him some help. I just need a little extra time. I'm cleaning up. I'm begging you, please. Look, I'll give you a two-week extension, but if the house isn't livable by then, the court will have him evicted. Plus, there may be fines. Fines? What kind of fines? They can be steep. Get it done. Okay. Well, I really appreciate it, so thank you. Dad. Dad, open the door. <laughs> Unlock the door, Dad. You know I have a key, right? Really? <laughs> Change the lock. I found an old lock in the trash, as you call it. I told you that stuff would come in handy. <sighs> Dad, I'm trying to help you. You want to help me? Yeah. Then leave me the hell alone. Dad, open the damn door. Fine. About time. You want some trash? Here you go. David? Oh God, I'm hallucinating again. Over here. Jordan? Hey. Are you stalking me? What? No, I, I come here all the time. Relax, I'm kidding. Oh. Hoping for a repeat performance? What are you doing here? This is my favorite spot. I come here to think. Get inspired. Still don't believe in synchronicity? I may be on the fence about that, actually, but... Mm -mm. If I told the university or NASA that I saw a UFO, I'd become a laughingstock. Then why are you here? Why not just go back to your lab and forget it ever happened? It's not that simple. See, I've been having these uh, dreams about the sighting. Nightmares actually, and, and I think I may have hallucinated the UFO. See, I get these uh, panic attacks, and look, I know, I know we just met, but I feel like you're the only person I can talk to about this. Come with me. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Where are we going? Where's your car? I got a lift. Oh. Okay, yeah, lips are cool. Well, we can take mine, it's over here. Wow. So, this is where your magic happens. Mm-hmm. Your sister? Mother. Wow. She looks young. She gets that a lot. My mom was strong, but she had a soft heart. She was very kind. She, she'd she watch sci-fi movies with me for hours. She hated science fiction, too. 
but she loved you. These are amazing. I can never do something like that. Try. You might be surprised. <laughs> oh no. no. Numbers I get, but I don't have an artistic bone in my body. You don't have to be artistic. Mm. Painting is very calming. Therapeutic even. You get into a zone, you know? Yes. Here. Here. Don't you have like a blank canvas or something? No boxes, remember? <laughs> I just don't want to mess up your painting. You won't. Okay. What? You just need a little inspiration. Well, maybe a lot of inspiration. Here. What are you doing? Let me guide you. Relax. This isn't working. <laughs> yeah, because you're holding the brush like a butter knife. Come on, loosen up. How should I hold it? Here. There you go. Imagine it's an extension of your arm. Just relax. Let the images come. Go with the flow. That's it. Good. Good. David. 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 I told you I was no good at this. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have forced you. No, it's... It's okay. Besides, I better get back to work. Bill and I need to burn a midnight oil. Midnight oil? Yeah, you know, work late. You don't know that expression? I'm a small town girl. Must be a really small town. Listen, I, I know this is a little awkward and, and everything, but... Yes. Yes? Yes, I would love to go to dinner with you tomorrow night. Here. <laughs> Call me. Okay. Tomorrow, then. Bye. What do you think? Hey. Oh, this is Blair. This is Blair. Tommy copied my homework. Hey, Bill. Uh, huh? Oh. Go home, Bill. Uh, uh, are we getting any closer to a solution? As close as we're gonna get tonight. <sighs> Crap. Well, if they turn down our proposal, we can always go back to cataloging rogue asteroids. Oh yeah, sure. It's been a lifelong dream to have the IAU name that took a rock after us.
best night ever. We sold all your pieces except that one. Thorna might put it up front, draw people in. There you go, sweetie. Minus my well-deserved fee, of course. Mm. Hope you're working on some new pieces. We need bait while the fish are still biting. Can I ask you a question? Let me guess. Is it about David? How'd you know? I could tell the moment you came back from having coffee with him. Nothing gets past me, honey. You did just have coffee, right? What do you think of him? He is quite taken with you. Uh, more my sculpture, really. Don't kid yourself. No way he's an art collector. What he bought was a $5,000 lottery ticket. I do like him. Well, you might just win the jackpot. <sighs> Thanks, Beth. You believe it. Excuse me. Hi, how may I help you? Um, the artist uh, who made this, uh, Jordan Waters. Any chance I could meet with her? Oh, actually, you just missed her. But that piece is sold. In fact, the man who bought it took quite a liking to her. <laughs> I love it when art brings people together, Mr. Uh, Ray Watts. Beth Cooper. Jordan does have one more piece for sale, if you're interested. Well, actually, I was thinking of a commission. Oh, well, she works exclusively through this gallery. I can get your contact information and have her get in touch. Well, the project's time sensitive, so any chance I could meet with her today? Let me see if I can catch her. Beth. It's been forever. There's a guy here who'd like to commission a piece. Can you come back to meet? Oh, sure. Yeah, on my way. She's on her way. Oh, great. Uh, <laughs> must be so interesting working with such creative people. Interesting eyes, don't you think? Almost otherworldly. Exactly. Very unique perspective. Listen, I'm really sorry. I just remembered I'm late for an appointment with my dentist. Teeth. Teeth are very important, getting a toothache. Um, just text me the guy's name and number, and I'll contact him after the Novocaine wears off. Sure thing, sweetie. Feel better? Sorry, she's not feeling well. If you give me your card, I can have her contact you. Oh, what a shame. Yes. Um... You know, actually, I realize my cards are old. I haven't had new ones printed. Um, I could write the information down. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, that is a striking piece, too. <laughs> yes, that artist is quite popular. Uh -huh. His lot piece sold for about. 8,000? Yeah, I don't want to interrupt, but I'm in quite a hurry there, so, um, do you have a car? Of course. Oh, I guess I gave up more at the show than I thought. <laughs> okay. I have someone back. Great. What an odd hole. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't, yeah. What happened? Ugh, Marty and Joe, the neighbor that filed the help complaint against him, they, they got in a fight, and now I'm scared he's gonna press charges against your father. Charges? Jesus, Dad, are you okay? Yes. You should see the other guy. Dad, this isn't funny. 
Listen, can, can you take me to the hospital? I really have to get to work. Yeah, sure. Oh, forget it. I'll be fine. No, no, you won't, Dad. You need stitches. Okay, so either you let Liz take you, or I'm gonna call 911 and have them haul your stubborn ass to the ER. Your choice. Well? What about Uber? Dad. Fine, you can take me. Oh, joy. Come on, let's go. Thanks, Liz. Here, I got you. Fine! I changed the garage lock too, so don't get any smart ideas. Still trying to build a perpetual motion machine? Mm, that's what this new piece is for. I think I can get it to work this time. We should sell some of this junk. We could use the income. It's not junk, okay? Put that gear down. Darling, look, I love that you're a mechanic. Right, things break and, and you fix them. Stick to what you know. What about our son? He wants to go into outer space. <laughs> He's 13. But the adults can't dream? David, I said stop. It's better than listening to you two argue. See what you started? Oh, don't make me the bad guy here. If the shoe fits. And what is that supposed to mean? This is your mother oh. all over again. I was never good enough for her precious daughter. My mother was just a mean drunk. Oh, you're not a drunk, I'll give you that. All I'm asking is for you to be the man that I married. What about the woman I married? What happened to that free spirit? You need to stop wondering where she went and start worrying about where she might go. I said stop! Hey, Janice. David Bennett here. Hey, listen. My dad lost his house key again. Yeah. Okay. I, I owe you one. Thanks. Uh-huh. All right, bye-bye. Two can play this game, old man. There you go, that should heal up real pretty. I'm done. I don't like hospitals. Just about. I don't need no pills. What? Mind? I do, actually. <sighs> You're welcome. What? Happy to drive you to the doctor and back. Oh, I didn't ask you to. That cut would have left a nasty scar. Who do I got to look good for? Well, maybe the people who care about you. David. Me. It's not a very long list now, is it? Would it kill you to show a little appreciation? Fine. I'd appreciate it if you mind your own damn business. Get out. What? Get out. Oh, come on. We're miles away from the house. Well, you just earned yourself a walking tour of the neighborhood. At least I can smoke out here now. Oh, yeah. Shite. You sure this is a good idea? Are you kidding? 
Best idea I've had in a long time. Please don't tell me you're feeling guilty about this. I shouldn't have made him walk home. That's what mom would have done. It's strange what loss can do to some people. Liz, there's no excuse, okay? You don't see me holding on to the past. Aren't you? What do you mean? You're still angry with him. It wasn't his fault, David. If he hadn't argued, my mom would still be alive. Marty cannot forgive himself. Maybe if you could forgive him, you both could start to heal. Oh, son of a bitch! Hmm. Let me in. You changed the lock. I sure did. Figured you'd use a taste of your own medicine. Bitter, isn't it? Let me in, give me that key. Nope. You want the key? Promise to get rid of all this crap. This is blackmail. Technically, it's coercion. Either way, you're gonna lose everything in less than two weeks unless you get your shit together. Give me the key. David, I'm your father. You listen to me and give me the key. I'm not 13 anymore. Okay, Dad? Sorry, Marty. This is my property hmm. and my stuff. You can't do this. What are you gonna do about it? Call the cops. Don't think so. That eviction notice already passed its due date. And the police don't know about the extension, okay? They'll come here, they'll drag your ass off the property, they might even throw your ass in jail. So all this will be gone anyways. Dad, just, just promise me on mom's memory that you'll get rid of this junk. Promise me. Fine. David, wait. Maybe I have a problem. It's not a promise. A promise? Okay, prove it. David, he promised. Seeing is believing. Most of the time. You can do this, buddy. Here. No, I, I, I need this one. More than you need me? Hmm? Dad. Just let it go. Let go. Way to go. Seriously. I miss her so much. Dad, me too. Hey. Me too. Come on. Good job. Listen, I gotta get going, okay? Alright, I'll stay here. Him in a while. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I'll see you later, okay? Thanks, Kiki. My pleasure. Hi. Hey. Well, look who's on a second date. <laughs> what can I get you to drink? A Martian margarita, please. <laughs> you know, fresh out. We had a whole gaggle of Martians in here earlier today. Between you and me, I think one of them was from Uranus. <laughs> Lemonade, please. That I can do. <laughs> hey now, my eyes are down here. Yeah, that's, that's cute. I thought it might lighten the mood. You know, after last time. Your project? Oh, yeah. It's not going so great. Oh, really? It's okay. We'll crack it. Hmm. 
So, any more strange encounters or hallucinations? I might be having one right now. Aw, I bet you say that to all the aliens. <laughs> Come on, if aliens were actually visiting Earth, don't you think the government and the military would know? Maybe they do. Okay, scientific theories are one thing. Conspiracy theories are another. Yeah, well, everyone's entitled to their opinion. Of course. But that doesn't mean they're not batshit crazy. Present company accepted, of course. Ooh, nice save. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is I need to see some proof. The people who say that are normally the ones who haven't done the research. There is a lot of proof if you actually look for it. Okay, fair enough. Where do you suggest I begin? Government cover-ups, alien abductions, and more. All on this week's episode of Strange, Strange Encounters. For the first time, high-ranking military officials break their silence and uncover the truth about the government's secret UFO files. Plus, new witnesses come forward to reveal what they saw during the infamous Phoenix Lights UFO sighting in 1997. And an abductee recalls her heart-pounding encounter with the beings known as the Greys. Humanoid aliens already living among us, as some claim. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry. Maybe watching that show wasn't a good idea. It's okay. Besides, no one's fallen asleep next to me in a long time. I wouldn't mind falling asleep next to you again. Why'd you become an artist? I was born an artist. I never imagined being anything else. Wasn't it that way with you in outer space? I guess. I didn't really figure it out till I was about five. It was one of those super rare crystal clear nights. I mean, you could see thousands of stars. The moon was full. I was mesmerized by it. And then it it suddenly hit me that it wasn't just this, you know, light up there. It was another world out there in space, a world we could explore. I mean, once I learned we already sent astronauts there, I, I couldn't think of anything more exciting than figuring out how to get to worlds that were further away. To boldly go where no one has gone before? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. I guess once my mom died, space became less of an adventure and more of an escape. I don't know. But your father's still living. <laughs> if you can call it that. Well, I'd love to meet him. You have a time machine? I don't understand. He hasn't been my dad for a long time. Huh. So. What about your mom? Oh, she, um, she travels a lot for work. We talk on the phone, but it's been a while since I've seen her. Well, what does she do? She's an ambassador. She speaks several different languages. I told her about you. You did? <laughs> you know, that... You're a scientist and that you bought my sculpture. Oh. Stuff like that. Well, maybe I'll get to meet her someday. Yeah, maybe. Hard to say when she'll be in town. Well, there's no hurry. You have lots of time. <laughs> Hello. 
tell me all your secrets. And then I'll see what you're made of. Can tape it back together. I need, I need to, I need, I need to look through all of this. You sure you don't mean to drive you? On a beautiful day like this? Okay. <laughs> See you later. Yes, you will. I said stop! Stoppers in the oven. Mom! No. Dear. It's all right. Remember the flower. Someone, Mom. Her name's Jordan, and uh, she's she's different. <laughs> Think you would have liked each other.
I'll make sure the power boxes are unlocked. No problem, sir. Please, wait! I just want to talk! Damn! Hey, you can't be in here. Look, I'm really sorry. There's just this creepy guy and he's been stalking me and I thought I could lose him in here, but... All right, I got this, miss. Thank you. Uh, stop right there, sir. I, I need to talk to that woman. That woman says you've been stalking her. No, she's not from here. Excuse me? She, uh, she doesn't belong here. Uh, are you saying she's an illegal alien? Definitely, no. Not really. Uh, 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 uh. You're not exactly Homeland Security. Oh, this is more important than national security. The whole world is at stake. Are you suggesting she's a terrorist? She's not from this planet. I understand it sounds crazy, but aliens are living among us, okay? And she is the proof. I need to talk to her. Calm down, sir. I am calm, you idiot! No, no, you can't be doing, I've got to find no. her. Look, she's not from this world, I swear. She says I'm a stalker, but no. she's not from here. No, come on. Tell it to the Inquirer. Damn! Oh, I can't take it. I couldn't catch up there. She's... The lights stopped me. And, and, and then I lost my shoe, and then, and then I got lost in the, the stairwell. The, the, the guard thought I was a stalker. Jesus, you have to hold this thing in, in like a, a minute. Is this fast? No, I can no. She's doing it. Oh my god, it must be some kind of alien ability. She's got to mess things up. It's. And she knows it. She knows I can't get to her. She, she looked right at me with that smug smile on her face. Think it! Jesus! Damn! What are you doing? Face it, David. We'll never make the deadline. Maybe we can apply for a grant next year. What are you talking about? We still have a week left. I'm not giving up. Jordan, hey. Well, what are you doing here? Well, I know you guys are working hard, but I thought maybe some snacks. Snacks and I go way back. I believe you were leaving. Seriously? Yeah. Hi, Jordan Waters. Bill Summers. Nice, uh, hat. Thanks. <laughs> you didn't tell me you had a girlfriend. Here, I thought you were rushing off to help your dad. <laughs> Jordan's an artist. We met at her art show gallery. So this is where your magic happens. Yeah, it's kind of hard to believe our life's work fits in a 3 by 4 rectangle. What? Oh, it's, um, it's nothing. No, no. That look means something. What is it? It's just the... No, uh, never mind. 
Okay. Now I'm curious. Yeah, when have you been too afraid to say what's on your mind? The equation is wrong. What? Where? I should have warned you, she has a very interesting sense of humor. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. I'll let you guys get back to work. It was nice to meet you, Bill. Jordan! Jordan, wait! Hey, hey! That wasn't funny. I said I was sorry. Why'd you do that? I don't know. I guess I can just see how hard you've been working and how stressed out you are. I guess I just wanted to lighten the mood. You can't help with this. I know. It was stupid. Can we just drop it? I mean, you're an artist. You're quirky. I get that. Look, I work. didn't mean to embarrass you, okay? It won't happen again. And what's wrong with being an artist? Or being quirky? Nothing. I just meant- It's better than being predictable. I think you mean reliable? I mean a stick in the mud. <laughs> well, I'll take being a stick in the mud over being- Being what? What, batshit crazy? I didn't say that. You didn't have to. God damn it. Why do you have to be so... So what? What? Go on, say it! So different! You know what? You're right. I am crazy. For thinking that this could ever work. Uh, Jordan, I didn't mean that. Wait! Listen, I'm really sorry about that. She's right. What are you talking about? This minus. It's supposed to be a plus. That's why we didn't get critical field intensity in the test. But she's not a physicist. How the hell would she know that? Seems there's more to your girlfriend than dumb hats and donuts. You owe her an apology. I can't believe I made such a rookie mistake. I guess with everything that's happened, I was just... Just what? Distracted. Is this about your dad? Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, what the hell's going on with you? Listen, there's something I need to get off my chest. Marty. Marty? Liz! You're saying you saw a UFO? No, I don't know what else to call it. Could it have been a plane? Uh, a, a... Believe me, I've been trying to explain it away since it happened, okay? But there's only two possibilities left. Either it's a top secret classified military aircraft, which makes absolutely no sense because if it was such a secret, why are they flying it over a public park in broad daylight? Or... Don't go there, David. The administration hears you talk like this. Yeah, don't you think I know that? Look, what if Jordan... Who I may never see again. She seems nice, but a little out there. Maybe she put that idea in your head? No, no, Bill. I saw this thing up close and personal. Plain as day. Before I even met Jordan. Come on, like, you know me. I'm not crazy and I don't make shit up. There's got to be a logical explanation. Yeah, but what if the logical explanation is the one that's the hardest to believe? David, listen to reason. <sighs> okay, you know what? Forget about it. What about the equation now that you fixed it? I'll never make the deadline. It's over, like I said, maybe next year. Well, we need to do this together. I can't. But we're so close! It's finished! I'm burnt out. I need a break! And apparently, so do you! David! David! Jordan, listen, I am so sorry for what I said. David, it's Liz. Listen, uh, it's, it's about your father. Oh, 
too worried. He's okay. going to be Liz! Thank God. Oh, David, thank God. What happened? How is he? Is it, is it a heart attack? What's going on? No. Blow down before you have one. It was a panic attack. Panic attack, sure. Symptoms can feel like a heart attack, though. Yeah, I know. He should be okay. I just want to keep him overnight to make sure. I can prescribe medication if the attacks continue, but he needs to deal with this. You can see him now. <sighs> Thank you. Thanks for being here. Of course. Dad? David? Hey, Dad. So, panic attack, huh? Like father, like son, I guess. I just always thought you were a wuss. Well, when Liz called me, I thought I'd lost you. Yeah, I'm so sorry. No, it's, it's okay. It's not okay. I should have been there for you. If I hadn't argued with your mother, If I just listened. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. If you ever find someone like your mother, nothing else is more important. You hear me? Nothing. We'll get through this, okay, Dad? Together. David. Mother. <laughs> what are you doing here? I was in the neighborhood. Uh, this is a bit out of your way, isn't it? Have a seat. There's something we need to discuss. Oh, I know that look. Jordan, pick up. Pick up. All right, you know what? Screw this. I'm worried about the UFO researcher. But I can stay one step ahead of him. You know what would happen if your presence here was exposed. How did you even find out about him? Our people are in several UFO organizations on Earth. We need to know what they know. But what about David? The boy. Oh, honey, we talked about this. You knew you were going to have to come home sooner or later. I, I really like him. Couldn't he just come? Absolutely with... not. But he's not like There's every- There's nothing to discuss. I'll be in the sector for two more days. Say your goodbyes if you wish, but after that, you're coming home with me. This world just isn't ready. I'm sorry. Jordan, it's me. Listen, can we talk? Please, if you're there, open the door. Just don't shut me out. Talk to me. Jordan, please. I love you.
why a triangle? It's the most basic geometric, the building block of physical reality. Just go with the flow. Yeah, it's a timeless piece. Timeless. What? Nothing. Here, Dad. Let me throw that out. No. No, I need it. What's going on? I can't explain, uh, but I need to go. I'll be back. Hoarding's not contagious, right? Bill, no, great, you're still here. It's patterns. It's all based on vibrational patterns. Should I be worried about you? <laughs> look, look, look. Oh, what are you doing? I haven't even... Just hang on, bear with me, okay? Okay? Now, you know how an electron can jump instantly from one orbit to another, right? Without existing in between. Yeah, but that's at a quantum level. Large objects don't behave that way. But maybe they could. Einstein showed us that space and time are connected, right? Yeah, that's why it's called space-time. We going back to kindergarten here? In a way, yes. Look, we normally mark coordinates in three dimensions along X, Y, and Z axis, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to use the X axis so we have zero. Okay. Now, let's say that these are objects one and objects two. Can you tell them apart? No, they're identical. Then how do you know there are two objects? They're in different locations. Exactly, so location would determine that object one is different than object two. Okay, where are you going with this? Stay with me, you'll see. Okay, look. Now what if I do this? Can you see any difference from the object that's now at X3 from the object that used to be there? No. Right. So. By moving object one to this location at X3, it became object two in every measurable way. You're proposing that objects change according to their location. Yes, which would mean that objects don't exist in different locations. But different locations potentially exist in every object. Exactly. So, this post-it is a pattern of energy vibrating at a certain frequency that we experience as matter. Okay, so part of that overall frequency must represent its location in space-time. But what if we could change its location frequency? What if we could change the frequency variable that represents the position at x0 and change it to represent the variable that represents the position at x3? What would happen? Well, the post-it would have to disappear from x0 and suddenly appear at x3. Exactly. Instantaneous relocation, no matter how far apart these two points are. A large-scale version a quantum leap, just like an electron. Interstellar travel in the blink of an eye. Yeah. Unbelievable. How'd you come up with this? Synchronicity. I'll explain later. Uh, but this is just a hypothesis. A pretty radical one at that. I don't think NASA will go for it. No, yep. the math will work, I'm sure of it. We'll be able to reach the stars in only a decade and at a fraction of the cost. NASA will go for that. We need a name for the proposal. 
I don't know, call it a space-time re coordinate relocation drive. Yeah, uh, only until we come up with a sexier name. We need to test this. I think I know where to start. Be right back, there's something to fix. And he's off again. Jordan? Uh, can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for Jordan. She moved. Moved? Where? I'm her landlady, not her mother. Okay, did she leave a forwarding address? <laughs> what for? Who uses snail mail these days? Well, she must have said something. Yeah, uh, she said she was going home. She seemed kind of upset. Who are you? I'm her boyfriend. Look, it's really important that I find her. Some kind of boyfriend. You didn't even know she was leaving. We got into a fight. <laughs> well, if she was here right now, I'd give her a piece of my mind myself. Y you see that creepy thing that she left behind? Th th that's going to give me nightmares for a week. <laughs> yeah, weird, huh? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Hey, if you know anyone who's looking to rent, send them my way. <laughs> I can see why she left him. Where are you, Jordan? Jordan! 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 You can hear me, please answer! Jordan! David, hey. you shouldn't be here. Wow, you look... Different? No, great. You look great. What are you doing in the park? My ride's picking me up here. Listen, I'm sorry I was such an idiot. I didn't mean what I said. Please don't leave. Please. I'm not leaving because of what you said. Then why? I, I can't tell you. I wish I could, but I can't. I just, I need to go home. Jordan, how did you know that equation was wrong? My father was a physicist. I have an eidetic memory, like my mom. I see or hear something once and I remember it forever. You know what, I don't care what the reason is, I don't. I just, Just please don't go. Please. I have to. Well, then I'll go with you. Whatever's wrong, I can help. I, I can. I can. There's nothing you can do. Besides, you have your work. That's what I wanted to tell you. I, I made a breakthrough. Breakthrough? Yes. You were right. It is possible to travel between the stars. It works like an electron jumping between energy levels. A quantum leap. But none of that matters to me anymore because I care more about you right here in front of me than I do about what's out there. You can have both. What do you mean? David, David, wake up, David. You're dreaming. Stay away from me. Who the hell are you? 
It's okay, just breathe. I promise I'll explain everything. Please sit. It's okay, honest. You've clearly been anything but honest. Please. time you've been from yep I don't believe this why'd you come here why do you visit other countries what you're on vacation not exactly think of me as a foreign exchange student without the exchange student mm. so what we had was what just an experiment? Is that no, what this is? No, I didn't expect to fall in love. But I did. And I think you did too, or you wouldn't have come after me. Why are you leaving? Because of that man you saw in the park. I don't understand. He's an alien hunter. He wants to expose our presence here on Earth, and I can't let that happen. He's been stalking you? I... I've been keeping him at bay. How? My people have this... Ability. We can amplify synchronicity. I guess you would say we can tip the odds in our favor. Why have you never told me any of this? It's against our laws. We can observe but not interfere with primitive cultures. No offense. Offense taken. But don't you see? Your discovery changes all that. What do you mean? You'll soon have the technology to travel to the stars. That means my people can initiate contact with Earth. It means I don't have to leave. <sighs> to be honest, you... You were the inspiration for my breakthrough. Just by being in the right place at the right time. I guess you were right. There is no box. <laughs> Wait. I is Jordan even your real name? It is while I'm on Earth. Selling, I'm not buying. I come in peace. Can we talk? My career is in the toilet because of you. Let me make it up to you. Please? to make this up to Someone who would like very much to apologize. To my dear friend, <laughs> Samantha, who never doubted me. <laughs> Thank you. And I hope you'll accept my invitation to be this year's keynote speaker at the convention. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Great. Very nice to meet you. It's strange. We mark gravestones with the year a person was born and the year they died, but whole lives are noted by nothing more than a tiny dash in between. Your mother and I, we packed a whole lot into that dash. If 
Oh well. My wild Irish cross. Legion of Honor. How does it feel? Surreal, actually. <laughs> Not to mention your year-long lecture tour to talk about your jump drive. <laughs> to be honest, I think you and your mom were the real stars at the summit. <laughs> Especially when she spoke to each delegate in their own language. Mm. Now that's impressive. Speaking of mother, she should be here to pick us up any second now. Are you ready to take our relationship to the next level? Are you kidding? I've been dreaming about this my whole life. Right on time. Oh my God. Hello, Mother. 